many teachers do you know off the top of your head that have made an impact on your life one way or another? Think about this. Without teachers, we would not have engineers, lawyers, or even doctors. Teachers are the root of the education system. Teachers and support staff work very hard. They're overworked and underpaid. They deserve to be paid more. On average in the United States, as of the year 2022, teachers made $66,397. That does equal roughly $39 an hour, which sounds great, yes, but, I've, but as the points I'm going to make in the following speech, hopefully you'll think otherwise. This chart shows roughly how much has gone up since the year 1960 to 2020, teachers increases in public education. I'm going to explain what a teacher's job includes, the off-the-clock hours that teachers put into their job, and how many behaviors that teachers encounter and are not properly trained to deal with. These all relate back to teachers deserving a higher pay. So what does a teacher's job actually include? According to the book, Leading Schools with Social, Emotional, and Academic Learning by Tara Madden Dent and Deborah Oliver, which was published in 2021, it states, a teacher is a person who helps students to acquire knowledge, competence, or virtue. They are employed as their main role to teach others in a formal education context, such as a school. Many other things go into being a teacher, including lesson plans, classroom work, classroom prep, paperwork, and daily meetings. None of these are in your job description, but they're all things that you have to do as part of your job. Another thing that a lot of people don't think about is caring for the students. It takes an emotional toll on many teachers. A lot of teachers admit to caring too much, wishing they could save every student or do more for them. Teachers also have their own family issues to deal with and take care of their families. This also relates back to teachers not getting paid enough. Some teachers can't even feed their own families or pay for their own houses. A teacher's job is a lot more than people realize. Now let's look at how teachers work around the clock, seven days a week, nearly 365 days a year. Yet another re reason teachers deserve to be paid more. Have you ever thought about all the hours teachers put in? Teachers work on average one to two hours longer than your normal shift every day. Many teachers admit to having a working lunch, not taking a lunch break, because they're helping students or other teachers. Many teachers come into work early every day, stay late, work on school-related items at home and on the weekends. Nearly 30% of teachers in the United States admit to having, to having work at home every single night. A lot of people also think teachers have summer breaks. That is not true. Many teachers go back to college to get more degrees in the summer to, get, to be a better teacher. Many teachers also have another job that they work just in the summer to pay their bills. It's a nationwide statistic that one in five teachers have another job they work solely in the summer. After realizing how much the teachers work, another topic we're gonna to discuss is the many behaviors that are in schools nowadays and how teachers are not properly trained to deal with them. Yet another reason teachers deserve to be paid more. First, I'm gonna give you some mental health and behavior statistics, and then I'm going to give you some teacher comments about them. According to an online article entitled Mental Health Surveillance Among Children by Rebecca Bitsko, posted in March of 2023, it states the most prevalent disorder Dis diagnosed disorders in the U.S. among children ages 3 to 17 are ADHD and anxiety, affecting, affecting approximately 1 in 11 students in public education. Having one mental health disorder was common with children with depression, and about 3 in 4 with depression also suffered from anxiety, which is about 73%, and almost 1 in 2 had behavior problems going along with depression, which is about 47.2%. Students the age, age 12 to 18 reported the most mental health issues relating to suicide. Nearly 18.8% of students age 12 to 18 in school, 18 in school say they considered, considered attempting suicide, while of that 18%, 15% made a plan to commit suicide, and 8.9% actually attempted suicide. How do you think that that makes teachers feel? Just another reason they're overworked and underpaid. Some teachers that I interviewed from the school that I work at had the following to say. I feel prepared, but at my own expense. I had to take extra classes and training, which I paid out of pocket for to ensure I was best prepared to teach in the environment that I work at. And that was quoted by Diane Layton. Another teacher, Stephanie Moeller said, the required training is not sufficient to meet the needs and demands of the mental health, social media, and computer usage that teachers are faced with. The lack of funding and programs to keep kids safe on electronic devices compounds the issues we are faced with today. Teachers do not feel properly trained to work with the things that they have to deal with every day. Teachers' job includes a lot of work, they work around the clock, some without proper training, and some can barely afford to pay their bills and feed their families. Overall, like I stated, 
teachers are overworked and underpaid. There has been a 1.69% increase in wages since the 2021 to 2022 school year, according to the USA Facts, which was posted online in 2022. But the price of living has incre increased nearly 5.8%, according to CNBC News article posted online by Lori Conch in March of 2023. This doesn't quite up, add up now, does it? We need to make a change.